My name's T. Grizzly. I'm a homicide detective. Get in there. Doesn't mean I actually detect homicides. I know it's confusing. Whenever there's a murder, it's up to me to figure out who did it, where they did it, and what weapon they used. Sort of like that board game, Clue. Looks like blood force trauma. What do you think? Candlestick? Really? Again with the candlestick? I'm Golden Hash. I'm a homicide detective. Which doesn't mean I actually detect homicides. I just said that. Oh. Well, it's kind of like that board game. Yeah, Clue. I just said that too. No, I, I wasn't going to say Clue. It's kind of like that board game, Life. Because we go around in a circle and sometimes we pick up kids and you either win or you lose. We're cops. Yeah. Grizzly, Hash, get your butts in here. Homicide. The mayor's been breathing down my neck ever since you two put 15 bullets into that runaway giraffe. Hey, that shooting was justified. That giraffe tried to grab my stun gun. That giraffe had a rap sheet longer than its own neck. All right, all right. I've got a body for you. But you two guys screw this up. You'll be writing jaywalking tickets on Ventura Boulevard for the next seven years. That doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, would that, like, affect our pensions? Or Shut up! Have... Okay, here's what we got. At 3.25 a.m., a transient calls in a possible 187. Seems he came across the body in an alley while he was dumpster diving for his next meal. Too bad for him he wasn't a cannibal. But lucky for us. The victim is female. Approximately 5 foot 3 inches, around 25 years of age, and most likely alive shortly before her death. McGillicuddy couldn't get the camera's flash to click on, so right now, we're working off this cartoonish sketch. Hey, is that Millsap's work? Nice. What's in the purse? It's all right here. Frederick B. Roberts, producer-director, Nighthawk Productions. Nighthawk, huh? Looks like this Frederick P. Roberts might just be our bird of prey. I think you boys had better swoop down on this Nighthawk. Sounds like we better bring a whole lot of bird seed. <laughs> ah! Don't worry, Chief. We'll make him squawk. Pretty bird, pretty bird. Ah! Get out! Frederick P. Roberts, producer for Nighthawk Productions. I also direct. Grizzly and Hash, Homicide. Detectives. What can I do for you? Well, for a start, you can take a look at this. This is you. Yeah. You ever need someone to play a cop? I took drama, sophomore year at Fairfax High. Wait, I left mine in the car. Can I go Mr. grab it? Mr. Roberts, what can you tell me about this girl? Oh my god, is she? She's dead, all right. Look how far her tongue's sticking out. See how her eyes are just X's now? Telltale signs. Oh, God. I take it you two were acquainted. No, I, I just, uh, I just met her the other night at, uh, the frozen onion. Huh, that onion joint on third? I could go for an onion right about now. She was my waitress. Kira, I think it was. And when was the last time you saw her? When I paid my bill. Uh, I think it was 8.30. So the only time you saw her was at the frozen onion? Right. Thank you, Mr. Roberts. Sounds like a certain frozen onion. That's a little defrosting to do. Yep. It better take off its hat and coat, because that little onion is about to get all warmed up. <laughs> From our breath. When we ask it questions, it'll warm it up. <clears throat> no? No. How about that little onion's about to get its neck Ash. ring? I'm gonna onion ring? Go. Oh, I thought I had it. Next time on Grizzly and Hash. All right, folks, this is what we know about this tiny toy car. It was manufactured here in Dearborn, Michigan, at a now defunct forging plant. 95% of this particular model was red, making this blue version a rare and valuable variation sought after by collectors. This particular one was given to me by my grandpa, which makes it a prized possession in my tin toy collection. Thank you. Good work, Withers. All right, anyone else for show and tell? No? Okay, next on the agenda, Grizzly and Hash. Homicide. Ladies and gentlemen,
gentlemen, our victim was one Kira Daly, a waitress at the Frozen Onion, an aspiring actress who has written out of the biggest role of her career, her life. Guess she'll be running lines with St. Peter now. Yep. Looks like the only big break she's getting is a compound fracture to the right femur. <laughs> so what'd you guys find at the Frozen Onion? Um, oh, we haven't been there yet. But what? We... God damn it! No, actually, we are on the way there right now. Well, yeah, we're almost there, Chief. Look out, you idiot! Out of the way! <laughs> Traffic. She was a great kid. Kept to herself, mostly. Never missed a shift. Never dropped an onion. Mean get how she could carry an onion. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Any change in her behavior? And yeah, maybe someone knew she was hanging out with? Nothing comes to mind. Well, if you think of anything, drop me a line. Sure thing. You on Instagram? Yeah, GrizzlyPick73. And your Twitter? The Real T Grizzly. And OK Cupid? Fun one for you. My Tinder is Mr. Love Gun. I'm the Gentle Gentile on J Date. And on Grinder, I'm straight but open minded. That's straight with an eight. And I took my profile off farmers only, so don't bother looking. He had a bad experience. I hear that. All right, if I hear anything, I'll reach out to you fellas. Trixie, get these guys a couple onions. On the house. Wow. <laughs> it's not bad. Oh. oh, thank you. That looks delicious. Are you guys here about Kira? Is this something you'd like to tell us? We're not just waitresses. Jake has us working nights, too. If you know what I mean. Oh, I got you. Washing dishes, sweeping up, that kind of thing. <sighs> Look, just call Jake at this number after midnight and request me, Trixie. The elegant onion, huh? Looks like stomachs aren't the only thing getting filled around here. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say we have the largest selection of tarts in the city. <laughs> Yeah, sounds like the onions are gonna... <laughs> but I don't get it. For the distinguished gen... Oh! So you're... And we're gonna... Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm um, gonna let you finish your onions. Next time on Grizzly and Hash. Got a couple of hard cases with no good alibi. Play them against each other, see what they know. All right, um, thanks, Chief. Come on, Ash. We can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. Just tell me what I want to know. Your pal. He's next door with my partner, tweeting away like a little songbird. The first one of you to roll over gets the deal. Who's it going to be? Where were you the night Kira Daly died? Where were you? God damn it! Answer me! OK, fine! Huh? You want me to bring my partner in? Cause I'll bring him in! You heard a good cop, bad cop! Well, I'm, I'm the, the good, good cop! cop. Yeah! Huh? Oh. <laughs> I gonna... I eat guys like you for brunch! Okay, I think, yeah. I think that's a pretty good line of questioning. Yeah, I think that was great. Yeah. Hey, Chief! Yeah, we're ready. You can bring those guys in now. God damn it! You idiots have been in here for five hours! We had to cut them loose! Still, though, good work. Yeah! You know what? I think we should run through it again and maybe break for lunch. Yeah. Hey, you idiot! I'm gonna have fun! Oh, yeah. I gotta Previously on Grizzly and Hash. Grizzly. Hash. Grizzly and Hash. Grizzly! Grizzly. Grizzly and Hash. Hash. Hash! Tiny toy car. Twitter? Grinder. Tiny toy car. Homicide. Homicide. Grizzly and Hash. Homicide. Midnight. Make the call. Uh, hello. Uh, my name. Disguise your voice. I recognize you. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Pierre Rodriguez. I'm a visiting French businessman from France. Yeah. What can I do for you? Uh, I believe you can provide the uh, Miss Bush that I am seeking. Who referred you, Mr. Rodriguez? Uh, yes, of course, it was my good friend and confidant, uh, Adolf, Adolf. Adolf von Trapp. Yeah, he's a German businessman visiting from Germany. No, 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 don't change your accent. Not ringing any bells. Ask for Trixie. Uh, and my friend Luigi. He recommended the Trixie, yeah? He says she's a real piccola panza. Oh, you're Luigi's friend. Well, you're in luck. Trixie's available. <laughs> you can pick her up in an hour. <laughs>
Hello? Ah, yeah, I'll be there. Don't worry. Another voice. Tony Dancer. Shouldn't we be doing this in a motel or something? Thanks for coming in, Trixie. I can't believe Kira's gone. Well, technically, her corpse is still in the morgue. They cremate her next Tuesday. Then she'll be gone. Oh, but yeah, it's a tragedy. Absolutely. Uh, what do you got for us? Well, she's been seeing a client a lot lately, a, um, a movie guy. A uh, producer? Um, I think he also directs. Frederick P. Roberts, Nighthawk Productions? Yeah, that's him. They spent like three or four nights together, and then the guy just started showing up at the restaurant every single day. I mean, he'd stay there for hours, and he just, he wouldn't leave. That is so romantic. Creepy. I mean, oh yeah, creepy. Wait, wait a sec, it can't be Roberts. He told us he was only at the restaurant that one time. Looks like he lied, Hash. So did you ever uh, wait on him, so to speak? Well, Jake put me with him the first time he called, but I just wasn't feeling it, so I asked Kara to take him off my hands. <laughs> is he okay? He's a sensitive soul. Too sensitive for this world. I'm sorry, I did. How could he look me in the eye and lie to me like that? I, I trusted him. You can stab me. You can shoot me. You can steal my ID and take out phony credit cards in my name, but nobody, nobody makes my partner cry. Roberts. Roberts! Oh, Grizzly. Oh, why? How could he do it? Oh, sweet Jesus, drag him down. Next time on Grizzly and Hash. There's just not enough goddamn clues! It all happened too fast, Grizz. Then let's just slow it the f down. Get the job done. Good luck. Previously on Grizzly and Hash. Hello? They hung up. So you think Roberts is our perp? Why else would he lie? So he falls in love with Kira Daly. Won't leave her alone. She gets creeped out, puts the kibosh on the whole thing. Roberts goes nuts. If he can't have this, nobody can. He gets the room to dark alley and whammo! I don't know, Griff. You really think that's how it went down? There's only one way to find out. Well, what a fellow Exactly. Guys. There's nothing you're right for in my current production, but I promise I will keep you in mind for future projects. Actually, we have you in mind for a little project of our own. It's called The Murder of Kira Daly. And you're about to be nominated for 25 to Life. So I wouldn't count on a sequel. Nice. Or a Broadway musical based on the original screenplay. Mm. Too much? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Look, this is ridiculous. I didn't kill her. You told us you'd only met Kira that one time at the Frozen Onion. You fibbed, Roberts. And fibbing is wrong. In this case, Dead wrong. I want to talk to my lawyer. This isn't one of your Hollywood screenplays, Roberts. You could play this two ways. Tell us the truth or get put in the slammer. There's also a third way. 
where you keep insisting on a lawyer and we're forced to cease questioning until you've got an attorney present. Ash. But, uh, I wouldn't recommend that. I didn't kill her, I swear. I would never hurt her. I loved her. Then why lie? You're married. And my husband knew. Your husband? Look, I never even thought about women that way until I laid eyes on Kira, and I knew I had to have her. Penis or no penis? Is it a crime to have feelings for a man and a woman? Is it? Is it a crime? No, it's, it's really more the homicide part that's the crime. The killing part that you did. Look, I You're a hubby. <clears throat> What's his name? Jordan. Jordan Glickelson, since Smith Hardwich Hamiltonian. Glickle. He changed his name when he moved to Hollywood to sound less Jewish. Is Mr. Glickelson and Smith Hardwich in Hamiltonian home? We're gonna need to ask him a few questions. No, he's, he's out of town, but you can't talk to him. I already lost Kira. If I lose him, I... Out of town? Since when? Tuesday. Tuesday night. Tuesday night? The night they have two-for-one tacos at Senor Pepe's. Taco Tuesday. It's also the night that Kira Daly was murdered. Oh, yeah, right. And also that. Come on, let's roll! Means I'm watching you. Next time on Grizzly and Hash. I didn't even think it was real, you know? <laughs> What's going on? It's Colsey. He's dead! God damn it! That fish was two days away from retirement. It never gets any easier, does it, Grizz? No, Hash. It never does. Previously on Grizzly and Hash. Homicide. Hey, Grizz. What do you make of this? Looks kind of suspicious. My god. How the hell did forensics miss that? Hey, no, Seth. Can you give us any more detail on this? Hmm. Looks like clay or dried mud, maybe. No, Seth. Show us the sole of her shoe. Hmm. Is that the same stuff? Ah, it's hard to tell in black and white. Looks like a match. Send both those to the lab. If we can get a read on that dirt. We'll know where else Daly was the night she died. Yeah. Hey, Millsap, got anything else for us? Ah, <laughs> classic! <laughs> <laughs> the joke is that it's a dog though, right? But yeah. he still has pretty good penmanship. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. It was shocking, right? <laughs> what the hell is this? It finally happened. What did? Budget cuts. They're shutting down the whole station, turning it into condos for reality TV child stars. What? Yeah. Honey Boo Boo is gonna live in my own office. There's no room for justice. No goddamn room at all. Where the hell are we supposed to work? Yeah, we'll figure that out. Until we do, we'll be setting up in Millside's backyard. Oh, he's got a great barbecue. One of those big ones with a grilling station? I'll get a hold of some beer, you two pick up a rack of ribs, maybe some sausages, but nothing too spicy, God damn it! We're on it, Chief. You want me to bring something, Chief? No!